Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Arkansas has been on a roll lately, but a winning streak is only important if it continues to be a winning streak. By extending it, we'll see if they can get it done in this one. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. today. We have a classic SEC rivalry on our hands. These two schools are ready to go. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Mississippi State is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. Starks fields it at the seven. <laughs> now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Taken down at the 27-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. Second and nine. Ball on their own 27. And here's a quick throw. And he's tackled right around the 46-yard line. The Razorbacks always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. They'll bring him down around the 40-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. Well, the quarterback should have thrown that one out of bounds. There was just no room to get it past that safety. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. He fires left side. And he's immediately tackled. Perfect time for the play action pass. Well, here the defense is looking for the run, and the play action put him in even a worse position. They just weren't ready for the pass there. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick throw. Almost picked off. Man, I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. From the 40-yard line, second down. Wants to go long and does. Let it go, and it's caught for the touchdown.
and he tacks on the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. They are lighting up the scoreboard again in the Big 12. The Cowboys have the perfect connection and a touchdown. Oklahoma State leads it 7-0. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Bush ready to kick. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Mississippi State's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. From their own 28-yard line, second down. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. From their own 49-yard line, first down. They'll work the right side. There's a fumble. Offense falls on. Makes it out to about the 36. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After, After review of the, the play, play, the ruling, ruling on the, on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So the call on the field will be reversed. From the 39-yard line, first down. hit before he could go anywhere. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. got room to run. Touchdown Razorbacks. How do they let the tight end get so open on such a big play? That was poor defense. Looks like there was some miscommunication between the safety and the linebackers which caused for him to get so open. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. A five-play, 60-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. We get a tie game at 7-7. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 34-yard line.
They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. That makes it second and two. Man left, man left. tackled around the 50-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Gets it quickly to the tight end, but it's dropped. From the 50, it's second down. made around the 48 yard line these guys have the capability to gain solid consistent yardage they have to regroup come out a bit more motivated next time Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. If you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. goes out of bounds around the 39 yard line that'll make it second and seven he makes it to the 42 yard line we played one we're even at seven in this one Welcome back to the action. Just about set to start quarter number two, and we're all tied up. Three down, three down. Now here's the line. Here's the line. And a quick throw. And down he goes at the 35. five-yard line. It's first down. And he's tackled in the open field. down 10 yards to go ball on the 17 nice play to set up first and goal
Arkansas. He makes the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Time to check out what's going on in Stillwater. Let's take a look at this one again. And for Kansas State, they're having all kinds of trouble so far. And for Washington, he's caught one for a touchdown. The Cowboys are on top, 21-10, early in the second quarter. And for Arkansas, boy, what a boost in the BCS standings they'd had if they win today. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he'll return this one from the seventh. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Throws, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Second and ten. Ball on their own 28. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. The 10. Touchdown, Bulldogs. That did more than just put six points on the board. It takes a lot of pressure off the offensive coordinator when the man under center can show that he's a dual threat. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he hits the PAT. A quick two-play, 72-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. But these guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. Miller fields it at the 11. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's taken down at the 44-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. Third down. Larry, Larry. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Dixon to punt. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Knocked out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Make the stop at the 38-yard line. Now he 
pitches it right down at about the 39 yard line. That makes it first and 10. To an open man, he dropped it. From their own 39 yard line, second down. Zips it to the back. And he hits him hard at the 42-yard line. A three-yard gain on the old screen pass. This was just a little dump-off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. Long is waiting for the snap. He dropped it. And down he goes at the 34. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That was a great route by the receiver. It started out looking like a streak, but in reality, it was going to be a corner route the whole time. Nice job of beating the zone coverage and getting the first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball in their own 47. Well, this quarterback would love to have this throwback. He's got a receiver downfield open, and he got so excited that he put too much on the ball, and he overthrew it. He's at the 40, and he's tackled around the 34-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Throws a laser across the middle. And he is drilled at the 26. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Starts with the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and two. Setting up play action. Has all day to throw. He's hit and taken down. sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers and this play is number eight on the drive strike to his receiver no good that pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball and it comes out a little wobbly and once again they'll come to the line try to convert on third down Go, 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 go. 
Setting up blockers or running back. He's got it on the screen. And they push him out right around the 12-yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. Arkansas could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. Brown from the four. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. The Bulldogs know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game and the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you've got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you've got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. From their own 24-yard line, second down. And he's taken down at the 21-yard line. The halfback took the pitch but couldn't find any running lanes. And there were no running lanes because this defense had so much penetration into the backfield. We would have been lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Right 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 We've got a great game here, folks, as we reach the end of the first half. 17-14, Razorbacks. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half of the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. From the eight-yard line, gets out to about the 31. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They get nice yardage on that run. That's a five on the ball. That'll make it second and four. Right in this, right in this. Go down, go down. My far, my far. Switch, switch, switch. Gets to about the 37 yard line. That makes us third and three. Bring him down to 39-yard line. This is a great punt-blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. Tackle at the 34-yard line. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Arkansas is up a field goal. That's 
a great tackle at the 31. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup and come out a bit more motivated next time. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 31. Five wide. Fires out to his wideout. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 36-yard line. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. Throws middle of the tight end. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any offense. Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle them. made at about the 15-yard line. From the 15-yard line, first down. And he has it on the corner. Touchdown, Razorbacks. the extra point. Harris, ready to Brown, from the eight, tries to get around the corner. Whoa, he just took a lick at it. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Man, that is a great call and a big gain, especially on an early down. Initially, it was called a catch, but now we're going to find out for sure if he at least had one foot in and possession of the ball before he went out of bounds. Well, I know the receiver isn't too happy, but they got it right after the review. No catch. It's second and ten. Ball on the 36. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Nice run up the middle. That's a deep four on the That makes it second and six. He's at the 30. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 24-yard line. First down.
Pacheco at the nine. The option's one of the more difficult plays to defend. The defense went after the quarterback, which left the running back with plenty of room. It's first and goal, and they'd love to get into the end zone and make this a game again. He makes it to the six yard line. Defensive end with this kind of speed is an offensive first nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Wildcats come into today's game ranked second in the land. This one's been entertaining us all day long. The Cowboys deliver the perfect connection and a touchdown. The Wildcats have the lead 38-31. Well, it seems like every year we have one of those weekends where there's upset specials, and that one would be an upset. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Miller from the seven. He's out to the 30. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Kirk, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in this third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, is being able to make the adjustments and being able to come out and, and being able to execute. And so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick up the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. He's taken down at the 32. And folks, it's neck and neck as we head to the final quarter of play. The Razorbacks with a touchdown lead. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Arkansas up seven points. Complete brought down, nothing doing. From their own 33-yard line, third down. Stern effort there by the defense. They weren't giving up anything on that series. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Dixon is the putter. Brown fields it at the 35. Room around the corner. And he shoved out of bounds at the 33-yard line. So the offense will come out onto the field to take over once again. They got three points on their last drive, but with this kind of field position, they should be looking to get the ball into the end zone. Brought down at about the 33-yard line. That makes it second and ten. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Church gets another carry. Inside the 10. 
And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. up a second and goal. Ball on the two-yard line. And they make the stop at the five-yard line. This defensive end just showed us why he's much more than just a pass rusher. Just under three to go in regulation. Shows some moves and he's in. He made a great move to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They look like they practiced that one a few times. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Wildcats were ranked number two, and after that performance, everyone knows why. And for Oklahoma State, they've now dropped three in a row. The Wildcats get the two-touchdown victory. Reese, we're tied at 24 here. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 34. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's tackled the 42-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he is drilled at the 48-yard line. So they gain six yards on the play and pick up the first down. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with the rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 48-yard line. It's second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick throw, almost intercepted. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And he tackles him hard at the 32-yard line. two-yard line. It's first down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Complete. Junior knocked out of bound at the 22. back and he's got it again and he's taken down around the 14 yard line that makes it second and two and this play is number eight on the drive and he's tackled after positive yardage 
first and goal, fourth quarter all tied up. What's it going to be? Splits the uprights with the extra point. And with time winding down, they probably won't let this return man feel the ball. Brown fields it at the seven. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Quick throw out to the receiver. They'll bring him down at the 48. Mississippi State's going to take their first time out of the half. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. Wants to go long and does. He's out of bounds right around the 8-yard line. And he hauls that one in. That makes it first and goal. Well, this is it. They've got all four downs to get in the end zone. Lost the run, lost the run. Mike Farr, Mike Farr. Play it, yeah, 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 yeah. Play it. Ah. And he's tackled right away. Mississippi State will take their second time out of the half. Touchdown, Bulldogs. The extra point to tie this game up. The play clock's at double zero. They just took too long. Delayed game, offense. Just to get them to think a little more about it, they're going to call a timeout. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he converts the extra point. Not much time left on the clock, and we've got a great one going. It's all tied up at 31. The Razorbacks are going to call their second timeout. They line up to kick this one away. Miller fields it at the 11. He makes it to the 32-yard line. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. The worst thing that should happen for the offense now is that the game will go into overtime. If they can make a couple of plays, then maybe they'll pull it out in regulation. Grabs it and hammered right there. That'll do it for regulation, and we are going to settle this one in overtime. And here we are. We played four quarters, and we still don't have a winner, so we go to overtime. Pass complete and taken down immediately. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Nice 
run, and he's brought down. Game seven on the play. First down. Check tight right, tight right, tight right. Full out there. Check the outs out there. Four down, four down. Mike five, Mike five. Tackle made at the 13-yard line. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays. But if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. From the 13-yard line, second down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Gain of six on the draw play. That'll make it 35. Great execution and a great way to start overtime. Now you put this thing in the hands of your defense. If they step up, you get the win. And he tacks on the extra point. From the 25 yard line. First down. Mike 50, Mike 50. Ready, flying 80. Passes back across his body, but nobody there. You got to give the receiver a chance to make the play. That was just underthrown. That makes it second and 10. They got to him before he could get back to the line. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Four down, four down. Let's go, Mike 50. Mike 50. Go. Two more steps. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Tackled for a loss. That makes it fourth and twelve. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Mike's fifty. Mike's fifty. Here go. Here go. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, Mississippi State 38, Arkansas 31. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.